Hello everybody and welcome back to more Nuclear Throne. We are jumping in whole once again. And this time I'm going to play it as a bit of melting. I haven't done melting in quite some time. I got the yo-yo gun as him. Do you know, for, to be fair, I'm pretty down with a yo-yo gun to start with. Why not just keep that going? Um, let's do it. Let's just jump in and see how we go. Of course, the inverted crown is always the best way to start. It's the most fun way to start. It adds a bit of challenge. It adds a bit of difficulty. It adds weapon mods on demand. And it adds the ability to get two choices of stuff, which I really like. Um, what are we going to go for here? Probably go for alien intestines here, considering I'll probably be using my active a fair amount. Even though it'll be, like, weaker because I'm using it more often, I still think it'll be good. But it'll promote me to use my active. And I don't really... I don't rate alien intestines that much because I very rarely use my abilities. But some characters, like Melting, it's way more applicable. So I will try my best to do it when I can. Okay, cool. Right, how are we going to do against this guy? It does seem that he just takes way less damage while he's moving. I'm not going crazy, right? Um, Dreadful Grenade Launch is a little risky. I'm going to stick with the yo-yo gun for now. Obviously, we'd like Bolt Marrow here. Uh, triple Corpse Explosion sounds very, very nice. I think I'll probably just take that. Um... And to be honest, Tentacles, Stunning, could be kind of nice with what we've got going on, but obviously Eagle Eyes. Eagle Eyes takes priority, I think. I like the way that these enemies are already corpses, but I have to kill them to explode them. Okay, I'll be a little careful with the teleporties right now. Good stuff. Okay, that went really well, actually. That went really, really well. And we get ourselves this, then we go to the inverted. The inverted area does kind of scare me here, because we don't get a defensive mutation. I'm not all that convinced we'll live, but I've got to try. To be honest, actually, the boss is going to be hard, but... The corpse explosion on this area is going to make it so much easier. Yeah, here's Mr. Bossman himself. Luckily, this guy actually goes down pretty quick. So, as long as I play my cards right. Ah, oh, I died right after I killed him. Okay. That was a good setup, though. I'll definitely be doing that again. Throne butt is just insane on this guy. So, I will be looking for that. And honestly, alien intestines there was, was actually even better than I expected it to be. Considering I was spamming it, I expected it to not be very good. But it, it proved itself as uh, pretty valuable. Oh, I destroyed the goddamn thing. It's okay, I'll go through the inverted area. Um, throw him butt again, there you go. Okay. Do I want to go through there? Probably not. Machine gun. I obviously need bolt marrow as well here. That'd be really good with a yo-yo gun. Cool. We're through. We are through. Um, last wish would probably be a good idea, but I think inner peace on this guy is going to be kind of insane. We've kind of been really getting down with inner peace these past few episodes, and I've been just realizing how crucial it is for late game runs. Um... Because it's really powerful. It's, it's like, it's not guaranteed in any really way at all. But it it just, if you can make it work, it's spicy, man. It's spicy. And we are making it work most of the time here, so... I'm really down with it. Okay. Got one more guy over here. Wow. Good stuff. And we have an inner piece locked and loaded here. Oh, there's another guy over here. Yeah, we have an inner piece locked and loaded right now. That puts us in a position of safety. There's Bolt Marrow, uh, which does work with this, I believe. Flexible elbows, though, would also be really good. And obviously, Boiling Veins would be too. Lots of good choices with this guy right now.
I'm actually really looking forward to getting um, tentacles again, to be honest. I really enjoyed that. It was a lot of extra damage when I'm spamming my right click. That I didn't expect. Um... Replaces two health with one armor. I don't even know how that would work. It just it just takes us down to one HP, okay. Cool. I did just lose my um inner piece hit there, which is not ideal. We got our bolt bolt marrow going. We'll take out the uh, the fellas in here somewhere. Where are they? For some extra rads. I love the fact that you can do that. And then we can just go straight through here and grab our crown again. Ah, you... Why does it do this? I just want the crown that I had. Oh, man. It's so frustrating. I guess no crown for me then. I guess no crown for me. What? I wonder what it is that builds in a piece. Is it just dealing damage? Because I don't actually know. Oh, dude, I run out of ammo. That is... That puts us in a rough spot. Yeah, I'm probably dead here. What? What's, what's, a, what's a guy meant to do? I'm blaming that all on it taking away my crown. I would have been fine if I hadn't taken away my crown. No, it's my fault for not picking up another gun. I should have prioritize making sure that I had something as my secondary rather than just wandering around like a gimp, but that's just how I be. Ah, oh, that was that was mighty stupid of me. That first run, man, I'm so I'm so sad I lost that first run. The first run was beautiful. It showed me things I didn't know were possible. Yo-Yo Gun's a great starting weapon. It's kind of crazy how, like, much worse this corpse detonation is without throwing, but it it is insane once you get thrown, but without it, it's kind of just okay. Bring on the rock. Oh, my dude. Get to a position where I can hit you more easily. Stop backing yourself into a goddamn corner. That was kind of cheeky of you. Quickly. Um, yeah, throw him, but again, you've got to take it. It's just too good not to. Especially when there's a group of enemies. These guys are doing some infighting down here, apparently. Bring on the rock. Oh, dude, I have ammo again. Okay, we're through, we're through, we're through. Um, This is kind of tricky. Bloodlust doesn't do much for us. Open Mind doesn't really do a whole lot. Shotgun Shoulders is kind of good. I guess I'll go with Recycle Gun, considering I've got this Morpho Rain, just to see if I can make that work. He's not too bad. He's not too bad. Don't teleport me, though. I don't like it. I don't like it. There you go. We're all good. Stay away from that ammo real quick. Thank you. 
and then just let the chain reaction kill everything. He got me while my weapon was away. Aw, oh, dude, he's trapped me here, hasn't he? I got Morph, Morph a Revolver, Morph a Pistol. I guess I'll stick with the pistol, it's a higher tier. I imagine it's better. Right, go, go, go. So I'm gonna take alien intestines here because they were just fun. And then what else should I take here? So probably something defensive. Maybe I'll grab inner piece. Yeah, I'll grab inner piece. So this one's actually a beam rather than a projectile. A sheep chew. It's using energy weapons, so my recycle gland isn't really doing anything right now. Ah, it replaced it again! <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, recycle gland is kind of a bit of a waste of mutation at this point. Okay, luckily that killed him pretty goddamn quick. Triple pop gun. I'll take triple pop gun because it's actually going to make my uh, recycle gland a little more useful. Even though I like the morph weapons. Um... Impact wrists could be pretty good in this situation with the corpse explosions and all that. Probably not doing the most damage by spamming the uh, spamming the alien intestines, but it's doing some extra damage, which is nice. To level 7 already. What am I looking for here? I don't even really know. Bolt marrow could be good. Probably should take strong spirit at this point, just in case. We good here? Double director shotgun. I'll take that over that. Cracking on this thing, thank you, yes. Splint a crossbow, I'll take that. So can I go through here and get my original inversion crown now? Yes, I can, good. I want it back. Hello, purple dragon. Okay, I did just lose... Dude, to be fair, this this is not the area to come to with this character. I am so burned. <laughs> this area is so rife with chaos. There's so much going on in this boss fight. I mean, I made it through it, but... I don't know if I could do it again. Plasma Quake, that sounds fun. Um... That is fun. I kind of want energy brain with this. That would be quite fun. Um, I think eagle eyes with this could be really good too, right? If it works the way I think it will. Yes, it does, baby. Gotta remember it's the it's the 
not the lasers that are destroying projectiles. It's the blood from the ex the body explosions. I don't want to make too many misconceptions about what's deleting bullets, because otherwise I'll get in trouble. Heavy shovel. It destroys walls. I'll keep it. Put reload speed on this bad boy. It's kind of slow. Okay, this is the boss stage. There'll be very little enemies in here. This guy will wreck my shit if I'm not careful, though. But it doesn't matter, because I've absolutely destroyed him. Um, sharp stress. Also get reload boost when max HP is 1. Um... Does it count if re max HP is 2? I'm gonna... Oh, I'm on level 9, so maybe it's not worth taking. I'll try it out. I'm gonna see if it works. This thing... This quake thing with uh, eagle eyes is... Uh, somewhere else. I'm liking it. I was hoping I'd get energy brain, but sadly, I was not so lucky. Look at the damage it can deal. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to go through there at the moment, I don't think. I think there's actually a crash with Regal Vision anyways. There is, an, there is an update for it, but I haven't installed it yet because I'm a goofball. I remember seeing it pop up last night, but... I think it was last night or night before, but I didn't download it because I forgot. We shall take a frost axe. Oh, oh my god. What the hell was all that? How is there still enemies left? Oh, we've already, we're already max level anyways. Cool. Right, what we got going on here? Blow up low HP enemies, lose half your health, gain three mutations. That's really good. Um, increase max level by one, even more rads. Half ammo cost for all weapons. All weapons cost small amount of rads. Last two types of enemies that died in an area are dead in the next area. More blood damage. And we've got looking at an enemy slowly kills them. That's, I, I've used that before. It's really good. But I think I'm going to go for this because that guarantees my reload speed bonus is actually active. And I'm hoping I can get something worthwhile here. Um, I'm going to go with that. There's energy brain. That's what I was looking for. And then trigger fingers as well, maybe? Yeah, that seems, that seems like a pretty good combo. Ow. That was a bad hit. Energy brain with this is uh, pretty gnarly. Straight onto the boss we are. Straight onto the boss. Kraken launcher. Oh, that's kind of spicy, but nah. We'll stick with this. We'll stick with this. This is this is the way. This should insta-destroy the boss and the, um, the thingies, the generators. Okay, that was kind of close. I cut it a bit fine there, but I think we're okay. Yeah, this is uh, quite nice. I wonder if there's any way I can increase the range on this weapon, but probably not, right? By that. I got 11 left. Can't really afford anything worthwhile here. If 
this is... This weapon. How are you going to beat this? I use it in junction with my uh, throwing butt as well, and it it's pretty awesome. And I've got impact wrists as well, which is always good on loop, so... Shall I do the challenge? The challenge has been kind of rude to us in the past. I don't really have anything that would work for it, but I should probably give it a go, right? It's a bit risky, but I'll give it a go. I just to, just to sort of get used to it more than anything. Bad hit there. Way too early to take a hit, to be honest. Oh, that's just health. <laughs> I did overheal us, though. That's good. Staying max ammo for the most part as well, that's good. Hey, we did it, okay. What do we actually want here? Lightning to shotgun, I'd like to go light- oh, lightning to kraken could be good. Cause we got lightning on our weapon here. Oh, ooh, blood to something would be interesting. Blood to melee. Blood to, wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We do have boiling veins. It won't destroy the projectiles anymore, but I'm I'm very tempted by that. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna see how this works because that that could be absolutely insane. I'm curious to see. It might be bad, but I'm having a feeling it'll be very very good. Where's the boss at? There he is. There's the other one. Yeah, that's... it's pretty good. Pretty good. Wasn't expecting to take that, but I'm glad that I did. We good? We good, baby. <laughs> yeah, obviously it doesn't destroy projectiles now, but I think it's just going to kill them more efficiently, which... He survived that? Big, assa big assassin. Be real with me here. What on earth is this guy doing? <laughs> he was firing an insane amount of stuff there. Right. Don't even know where the boss is. Don't particularly care. God damn, this is mad. The melting build of dreams. Going to inverted areas probably isn't the right decision, but I'm doing it.
Where's all the enemies at, man? Just give me more blood on this thing. Don't know how I'm going to fare against the inverted dragon here, because he's a bit of a dick. But I should kill him pretty fast, as long as I can stay alive. Which I'm not convinced I can do, but I did. Yay! I seem to lose my inner peace charges pretty darn fast. Which kind of scares me. I love being able to destroy the van before it even arrives. That's when you know you're doing well. For some reason I assumed I could destroy walls. I think that's just because it impact risks and the explosions are destroying walls. Not it. That's not it. Oh man, why is the one enemy left over here? Why do you defy me? Yeah, this is this is how you play melting. Now this is pod racing, as they say. No, no, no. Please stop. That's a hyper crystal there. No, thank you. A mini crystal boy. The speed at which you can fire this thing as well is nuts. But Purple is still my biggest threat at the moment, I think. But, like, why would I ever trade out this weapon at this stage? Again, why would I go inverted? I don't know. It's so much more dangerous, potentially. Wait, does, does poison, those poison enemies from the cloud area, do they actually do anything to me? I don't even know. Because, like, normally they drop you down to 1 HP, but I only have 1 HP, so if they hit me, would they do anything? This is going to be rough. <laughs> Fighting this throne when I don't know the attack patterns and stuff is going to be rough. But my theory here is that we can kill him extremely quickly, so... Yeah, that worked out. If I'd have run out of ammo, that would have been game over for us. But same with this guy as well. I'm probably going to have a hard time against this dude. But it doesn't matter. No hard time for me. I killed him instantly. We looping it, baby. Plus one mutation is so expensive. I don't even know what to grab here. There's like nothing I really need. <laughs> like... I guess I'll just keep it and see if I have enough for a mutation later. Oh my flipping hell. That's a lot of explosions. Oh, okay, the, the, the police are at the point now, yeah. I was about to say, the police are at the point now where they're basically impossible unless you have some way to deflect their shots. 
That was all the fun either way. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.